Are you ready? Are you ready? What's up, guys? Good morning. It is Tuesday, February, I don't know, 21st. Yeah, February 21st, totally on point with that. Uh, so, I woke up this morning and was super excited to find that a lot of you guys subscribed to my mailing list. So, that has just kind of like really motivated me to like want to put more good free content out there for you guys. Now, I'm not going to like send an email right away. I'm kind of waiting like a couple weeks until enough people sign up and then I'll start doing like a, I think I'm going to commit to a monthly mail out because I really want to like get good content. I don't, I don't want it to just be like crap that I'm throwing at you. And I'm also going to get some feedback from you guys. So if you sign up for the mailing list, I will in a couple weeks send out a mass email kind of asking like what you guys want to see in the mailing list. What sorts of informational type things do you want in there? And some of them might just be like motivational emails, you know? You never know when someone needs that pick me up when you send that email right at the right time. So I really am excited for it. I'm so happy that you guys are signing up. It makes me so happy. So check out my website. Here it is. Subscribe to the mailing list. <sighs> Booty Builder Program. A, a few people have asked. It is basically a how-to guide on the things that you need to... Okay, it's a how-to guide with the, I guess, core exercises that I have personally used and found that have actually helped me grow a bigger, rounder, more dense booty because that's the thing is you want that density um because if not you know you're just gonna like touch it and it's just gonna be like you know you don't want that it, it comes with a full description of each exercise it's a three-day split so you're gonna work it out you're gonna do um you're gonna work your glutes three times a week and you can do the program as long as you want it's totally fine as long as you see yourself progressing and you're pushing yourself in every workout so each exercise has a full description then this is the part that i'm gonna work on this week, I'm out of breath. I just finished hit and showered and I'm like, it still like leaves me like dead for hours. So uh, this week I'm gonna load up videos. So each exercise will have a video that you can watch of me doing it because this is, I feel like there's a million different ways to do each exercise. And these are personally the ones that have helped me and where I see the most glute activation. So hopefully it helps you guys, you know, kind of see it too. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get the videos over to you guys when you sign up type of thing. Today, on my agenda, in addition to that, is taxes. I have to do, I have to get my taxes, tax stuff done between today and tomorrow. We have a, um, an S Corp, which means we have to file our taxes a whole month early. And that really sucks. It's March 15th, um, which means I have to pay my taxes a whole month earlier. I kind of want to file an extension and Ashton's like, no, don't do that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to get it done today and tomorrow. Basically just have to drown my sorrows on the computer and stuff. So it's going to be lots of fun. Lots of fun. Anyway, I'm about to cook some breakfast and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. So there is breakfast, egg white omelet, fried egg on toast, other toast, and strawberries. And um, I'm going to top my eggs with this green Tabasco, which is amazeballs. Try it. All right, you guys, it's 10 a.m. My last clip when I was eating breakfast and starting my taxes was 8 a.m. I've literally been here for two hours. My legs are dead, so I'm going to take a break. I think I'm gonna go tan and then of course eat after that. So I'm gonna go do that because I gotta clear my mind, but I've made a big dent in our taxes. Basically, Ashton and I have like several businesses and being that I don't have an accountant or someone to input my expenses like on a weekly manner and I don't really have the time to do that, I, I rather sacrifice like three days of my life a year to taxes. So we use a credit card, we have like a business credit card and we use that for all of our expenses, like everything. Um, and then, it's very nice, Amex will give you like a nice little breakdown of like, you know, merchants and whatever, however you wanna categorize it and then that's how I go through and do my expenses. So it's just a bunch of like listing and adding up and it's fun. 
It's so much fun. I'm so excited. Can't wait to see how much I'm gonna pay. So these are the lotions I use. This is for like your whole body. These are really good uh, bronzers. Um, and it, it's actually like white, like the lotion's white, which is nice so it doesn't stain your clothes. This is like for your legs and it just helps like tone, tighten, and make your legs darker. So I've been using that lately. I don't tan very often, so don't judge. My latest obsession. Oh my god. This ice cream tea, no syrup, two stevias. I have one like almost every single day. It's so good. Currently at Office Max trying to find a calculator. So just gonna buy the cheapest one. 25 bucks. Why not? Alright, back home and I just made myself meal two. It's like 11.15. It's a little bit later than normal, but I got caught up on taxes. This is just an assortment of greens, some broccolini that I made, I showed you guys I made in my last video, and grilled chicken. Yas. Oh, and for dressing I use the Dijon mustard mixed with red wine vinegar. Peace. Or, yeah. My thumb is so weird looking, right? I don't know. What's up guys? So it is the next day, Wednesday, February 22nd. I kind of wanted to do a full day of eating yesterday, but then I forgot to film the rest of the day. I got really busy, like, end up going to the gym and then going to the grocery store and that took forever. And by the time I knew it, I was at home till like 5.30. Yay. Uh, grocery shopping sucks. Basically eat the same things every day. So we saw yesterday's meals, I think up until meal two. So I'll start today with meal three, which is the exact same thing I ate yesterday. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. I'm actually gonna sit here and do some more taxes for a few hours. Shots. Just finished meal two. And I'm about to go hit up a back workout like I did last week if y'all saw my last vlog. And last week I tried this Rush pump amplifier and instead of taking it in a pill form, I actually broke up the pills and put them inside of my drink. And that was epic. I did it again on Sunday and I'm gonna do it again today. So Rush pre-workout, open up the pills. I don't know if it's totally safe or not, but I do it and I'm still alive. Oh no, just saying, kill a pumps. I feel like, I feel like my arms are starting to lean out a bit, you know? They look bigger than last year for sure, you know? But that's probably because they still got a little more fat on them. Last year my cuts were like, bam! I keep looking back at pictures of, and you shouldn't do that, like throwback pictures of like the super lean shreds and I can't believe that I walked around like almost two years looking like that. Like, shredded AF, like diced and peeled for two years. Like even, even during the holidays and everything, I was like, I thought I was fat, but I'm like, yeah, I was not even fat, not even close. We're so hard on ourselves, you guys. Just remember that. And I'm hard on myself too, but then, you know, I, so I have this, the mental struggle that you guys go through, and then I have this other side where I'm like, okay, my logical side of my brain is like, okay, these are just your emotions, your feels, so just get over it because, you know, we don't need feels here. Don't be so hard on yourself and there's a time and a place for everything. Everything happens for a reason. And honestly, like, competing isn't the whole world. You know what I mean? Like, I do it because I love getting on stage and like having an action plan and then getting to that goal like it makes me feel so great and accomplished. But at the same time, you know, sometimes you, you have to sacrifice a whole lot when you compete. So it's not for everyone. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. This is rambling now. Let me show you my pre-workout. So I told you guys in my last vlog, my meal prep vlog, that I was trying to cut back on sodium and like 
watch my sodium intake. You know, I haven't really been watching it at all, so more like limited. So I drink Monsters, and the white Monsters have 180 milligrams of sodium, and that's only half the can, so it's two servings. Um, so it's like, what, three, four, something. These, the yellow ones, I have not tried. Ultra Citroen only have 45 milligrams of sodium per serving, so 90 for the whole thing, which is like a quarter of what the white one has. I'm gonna give this a go. It tastes kind of like 7-Up. This is 7-Up. Diet 7-Up. Cheers, with some energy. So for Valentine's Day, I ordered Ashton, and they came really late because they come from Australia, his favorite underwear, which are like $35 a pair, but they're freaking awesome. Um, and sometimes they take, sometimes they come really fast, like in a week, and sometimes they take a month. And this time they took like almost a month, so. Um, I ordered two pairs. That's $70, guys. It's not cheap. Um, but they're really cool looking, right? Yay! Happy Valentine's Day, really late. Oh my god, let me see. You look like a, like you're wearing a space suit. Oh, there's like no light in here. Oh, you gotta pull them up. They're like sagging in the butt. Oh, oh. did you just rip it? No. Oh, it's because you, you have a penis? <laughs> oh my god, all Ashton does is wear my leggings. Those are my celestial bodies. Booty scrunch leggings, and he's wearing them. I have to start hiding that from him because. Oh, not pretty. By now, you guys should just be able to predict what I'm gonna eat. So, meal four, I totally devoured it before I realized that I was doing full day of eating. So, I will insert a picture or a clip right here of meal two because it was exactly the same. Yes, I'm so predictable. And. I mean, I think I eat the same meal, like, I eat two of the same meals, yeah. So two of my meals I eat twice. So meal three and meal five are the same, meal two and meal four are the same. This is the way I like to eat it, I don't know. Sometimes I change up the veggies. So here we've got some shredded lettuce, just a little bit, uh, basmati rice, a couple extra pieces of tomato that I didn't want to throw away, so I figured I'd use it. Some green beans, French green beans, and chicken. I bought, and it's not, it's good, but it's a little bit higher in sodium, but um, I bought it just to try it out. It's this chicken, Good Heart brand. It's a convenient, ready to eat chicken and beef. This one was the chicken, it was just the rotisserie chicken, and it was really good, but the sodium is like 380 milligrams, and that's a little too much for my taste. So, okay for one time, good for emergencies, but not all the time. Ashton is having two pieces of the chicken that I didn't want to throw away. Ground beef that we made earlier this week and the creamy four cheese. This uh, Uncle Ben's creamy four cheese, which is so bomb. I wish I could eat this. That's five fat. I don't want to waste my fats on this. I'd rather eat this much. So last meal of the day is this super thick and creamy protein ice cream, which I made with a scoop of the Gen Genetics Campfire S'mores, ice, like lots of ice, and then water. And I added some Walden Farms caramel syrup to kind of add some more flavor, and that's kind of why it turns a little bit brownish. And then part two, I'm going to have one tablespoon of this guy. At last. I went to the dentist last week and they recommended that I should try this water pick thing. And I just got it in the mail, charged it up, filled it up with water. I have yet to use it. Um, we're gonna try this out. Would you like to give it a go? That's not right. Um, I don't really know what, how to do it either. You start spraying oh. water. <laughs> that was weird. That's really weird. Okay, let's see. Allie just went What the fuck's going on? It just went all over the mirror. Ooh. 
it's like soaking wet. I'm gonna figure this out. Oh. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> then put it on soft. I don't think you're supposed to, you're not supposed to, it's not like a toothbrush. Oh man, I felt like that. Don't put it on your gums. It's on my gums. You hold it onto there. Very painful.